Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Mountain Blade to Bannerlord. Try something a little different. Let's try using two siege towers. Now we have enemies roaming around at the moment, armies passing by, and they seem to have ran out of food. I'm guessing the sheer distance they've had to travel to reach us, they ran out of, simply ran out of food, which is pretty good for us. So they're coming all the way over here, running out of food and having to run all the way back and they're just losing troops as they go. So, me on the other hand, I have a lot of food and I have my army together. So we're going to take as much as we can along the northern ridge of the map. Through the snowy regions that used to be Sturgeon territory. Now we're going to try something a little different. As I said, Couple of siege towers, we're gonna push them up and see if let's just see how viable it is. Long way to push the siege towers though, so if this don't work, if they get destroyed by catapults, we're in a bit of a mess. Low Oh they killed him. And we got well fellas over there. I'm a bit too high. I hate doing these long shots. I'm just wasting arrows. I'm so worried. Boys, don't stand there and get killed, lads. Just, just please be smart. Think before you do. Which is something I really should follow myself. Uh, The siege tower's moving so slow. I'll be honest, what I should have done was still build a ram. Because the way it works is that you have multiple entry points. You know what I mean? And you don't leave anything to chance. I mean, I know I'm testing it, but like... All these people coming over. I get a lot of archers now. I can hear the rolling noise of the siege tower being pushed up slowly. Of arrows. Is there anywhere to resupply my arrows? I think there is. Somewhere. Not a bloody clue where though. Oh, we lost the siege tower. Oh no. At least one of them's made it. That's something. Seems we're gonna have to focus all of our efforts on this side. Which is actually beneficial for us, if I'm honest. I'm going to go up though. I'm going to be one of these troops going up. Oh, it's not even a ladder. It's a ramp. Even better. Come on, boys. Get up here. We go. Oh, bugger. Oh, we, we're pushing them. Look at that. 
lagging a bit. You know what? I'll just come down here. It's safer. Oh, we're just overwhelming. They made a mistake taking out that siege tower. It definitely helps when it's a ramp and not ladders. My God. Do I really want to tempt fades and open the gate? Nah. We have this in the bag. Why risk it? Bit of a mess here. Fighting in first person is kind of fun. I'm going to go down though at this rate. Oh god, I'm in the middle of the enemy. What I'm starting to notice is that I'm hitting a lot of people and they're tanking my hits. So what I think's happened is that one the recent patch has kind of rebalanced some stuff. So this is no longer just getting the kills outright. Although it still does. I guess, I guess a lot of what it is is that if I'm standing too close... You don't get the full swing, which is what it is. Whereas if I stand a bit further back, it's okay. We're doing a pretty good job here. I'm going to speed up time just to get get through this, so we can move on, because we've got a lot of uh, a lot of castles for us to take. The numbers, and there's a couple of big cities we need to take as well, which is going to have a lot of troops. Perfect. Victory for us. What I like to see. Done and done. Need to heal up as well at some point. No, I don't trust these people. 17 defenders, so we may want to... Who do we give it to? This dude, I mean, I don't know if he's going to stay with us, but why not? Let's let's see if I can get my, my relational with him. It's a little bit. Oh, that's right. He hates me. <laughs> he hates me. He's not going to let me stay here. I'm hoping that we'll keep everything that we've captured so far. So wait here for a few. We still have a very strong army. So that guy's going to besiege. So that means they will go and attack this place. Until their defenders can be pushed up. Oh, but then if he stands there like an idiot, that's fine. Take him out. I think because I've got so many troops, I'm just going to send them into attack. I know I need to, you know, keep everyone alive as much as possible, but with overwhelming numbers like this. Follow your sergeants! This is the best way to handle it, in my opinion. I do miss seeing a good cavalry charge. <laughs> These poor people up ahead. They've even formed a little circle. I'm going to go for him instead. I completely mucked that up. They are in there somewhere, I just don't know where. Oh, reinforcements. 
Amazing how they survive that. Yeah, cavalry seems to be a bit more stupider, less effective in this. At least that's been my experience thus far compared to Warband. It's funny there's way there's ways to move on the horse, but I don't know how to do it. I've done it before accidentally, where you sidestep on the horse. Yeah, not a clue. Who's left? Oh, it's a horseman, okay. There we go, they got him. Good stuff. Tell me we have a prisoner. No, we do not. Yeah, he was taken prisoner by someone else who's not Okay, that's actually good. Not one of my companions, that's the most important thing. Because when it's not my companion, I can say I want to do a proposal. And because he's got prisoner... He just gives me him. And I can do the deed. Pretty good how that works out. Although I'm still really annoyed we let Monchug slip through our fingers because you know he was captured by Kulhan. Makes me wonder how many people have escaped, you know what I mean? Because I never noticed that they were taken prisoner by someone else. Just ransomed off eventually. Who's he, who, who's he with? Empire. Ah. Empire clan. I've already killed one of your family. Now I've killed you. I don't know why I recruited that many people. That wasn't a good idea. I think I've got a bunch of tier ones somewhere. I just need to find them. These guys are going to be a pain in the ass because they want to siege Takor Castle. Can't allow that. Maybe, maybe I'll just let them both go do it. Go on. Lay siege to it. All here. They're already breaking. They're already breaking camp already. I can stop him at least. Oh, we managed to get both of them locked into battle. Perfect. 500 enemies. 482. Still pretty close. Take over, command! Footman! After me! Mounted archers! On my flank! The mounted archers are better off to leave them on their own because they're not going to use lances. They're mounted archers. They're just going to drive by and fire. So, absolutely. Leave them to it. At least that's my theory. do as much damage as we can. Oh, 
Thought that was one of the leaders. Good. The rest are breaking. They're running. We're all over the place here. There they are. Maybe I'll focus on the horsemen. If there's any horsemen left to focus on, that is. Everyone's doing a pretty good job. I'm freezing up a little bit. That's because enemies getting respawns right on top of us. Right in the middle of that mess. This is one of the best fights I've done, if I'm honest. In terms of how overwhelmingly uh, quick we're doing. I'll take it. I guess the good thing is, is that having my cavalry charge, they just go for the nearest enemy or whatever. My infantry is under command of a commander, so hopefully they're doing something smart. That probably means, you know, they'll stay together for the most part, rather than splitting up the chase like a horseman and a, you know, a fleeing guy. That's always a bonus. That said, I have no clue what they're doing there. <laughs> I didn't even see an enemy in that grouping. Swing and hope for the best. Pretty much been my uh, experience in this game so far. Just come on. I reckon my archers can probably kill a lot of these people. That's why I want to push them up. I see no reason at all to have my inventory pulled in away like that. Let's just pull them, uh, get my people here. Spread out a bit more, make sure you're getting these kills in. Doing a great job so far, keep it up. Infantry, get back in here. That's unfortunate, but speed up time. See how they're pulling back now. They're mucking about. They should uh, see now they're mucking about and pulling back. Look how many people we're losing. You idiots. Says the person that just got himself knocked out. Still though, we were doing so much better. If we'd have just pressed on with the attack. We'd have wiped them out. We wouldn't have lost that many people there at the end. We've done so well. is what it is I suppose victory battle is won hopefully two more prisoners lock them up throw away the kit well lock them up who be kidding Virad and Lucian okay getting annoying that these guys aren't coming to me
Okay. Um, give me your prisoner. Thank you. And who was the other fellow? Thank you. Now I can do my upgrades. Oop, Zem's hurting. God, Zem's wearing some really crap gear. <laughs> I should upgrade that. At least it just looks a bit ragged. Because they aren't going to like that, but they ain't got a choice. Alright, now there's defenders entering Takor Castle, which is good. We can continue on. Varnapol is going to be the next target. It's going to be a difficult target. It's going to have a lot of defenders. So it's going to be a fairly big battle and I need to heal up. Anyway, that is all for now. Join me again next time. Until then.